Man, I hurt so bad. Ooh, I'm in a lot of pain. Lord Jesus, help me. Ooh, Lord, help me. I hurt so bad. I bet you wonder what that's about. That's the way my mom sounds when she's in the middle of a sickle cell pain crisis. I can remember a time when I was about five years old seeing my mom in the middle of a sickle cell pain crisis for the first time. I had no idea what was going on. I had never seen my mom in so much pain before, and I was afraid. Now that I'm older, I still get afraid when my mom is in the middle of a sickle cell pain crisis. However, I have a better understanding of the disease, and I try to educate others as much as I can. Let's talk about what sickle cell anemia is. According to Wendy Murphy, author of Organ Diseases, Sickle cell anemia is a rare hereditary blood disorder that gets its name from the red blood cells found in the bloodstream. There are different types of sickle cell disease depending upon which gene is inherited from your parents. If you inherit from both of your parents the sickle cell gene, you are said to have hemoglobin SS, better known as sickle cell anemia. If you inherit from one parent the sickle cell gene and from another parent an abnormal gene, you are said to have hemoglobin S beta thalassemia. If you inherit from one parent one regular gene and from another parent you inherit one sickle cell gene, you are said to have the sickle cell trait, which is what I have. I don't have the disease and I don't exhibit any symptoms of the disease. However, I can pass the disease on to my children if my mate has the sickle cell gene also. There are many symptoms associated with sickle cell anemia. According to Medline Plus Encyclopedia, some of these symptoms are pain, fever, fatigue, paleness, jaundice, chest pains, abdominal pains, just to name a few. There are ways to diagnose and monitor sickle cell anemia. Your doctor may choose to run hemoglobin, serum hemoglobin tests, complete blood counts or CBCs, MRIs, or blood oxygen tests. Your doctor uses these to diagnose as well as keep tabs on the disease in sickle cell patients. Sickle cell anemia can be treated although there is no cure. Doctors mainly strive to lessen the symptoms for patients and give them comfort as much as possible. Fern Brown, author of Hereditary Diseases, lists some treatments as Get in a blood transfusion if the hemoglobin um, drops really fast or the blood count drops really fast in sickle cell patients, which they go to the hospital and they receive packed red blood cells um, through an IV and get an oral fluids or intravenous fluids. The National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute also lists hydroxyurea as a method of treating sickle cell. If given daily, hydroxyurea can lessen the number of pain crises that a sickle cell patient has. Just because you have sickle cell doesn't mean you can't live a full life. My mom was diagnosed with sickle cell at the age of five. The doctors told my grandmother she wouldn't live to see the age of 21. However, I know a man that says otherwise. On my mom's next birthday in September, she will be 51 years old. Praise God. There are ways to manage sickle cell, such as learning to cope with your pain. The National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute recommend hot baths, heating pads, resting, and drinking plenty of fluids as ways to manage your sickle cell anemia. Also, if you prevent the crisis when you can, that helps to manage your sickle cell as well. You can manage your sickle cell by 
avoiding temperatures, extreme temperatures, hot or cold, preventing loss of oxygen, and drinking plenty of fluids. And you should see your doctor on a regular basis. As you can see, sickle cell anemia does not have to run your life. I must admit, it's been difficult. It's been challenging. And my life and my mom's life has changed dramatically. But life has been rewarding also. I'm glad to have been in her life. And I dedicate this speech to my mom. I love you.